Hey guys, the chicken is here. Welcome back to another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going over your season 63 tech tree guide, and we got an upgrade to choose here. Let's do the uh, let's do the vault and a critter launcher because that's fun. So you guys haven't already appreciate it if uh, you throw that code chicken into the shop. It does help to support the channel, and also if you haven't checked, um, there is a two free day two day free instant training available. So make sure you pick that up. It does stack, so there's no difference on uh, when you use it. And if you guys take a sec to subscribe to the channel, we're closing up 40k, so that would be awesome if you could do that. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So it's been a bit of a, a rough start, but um, I believe we have uh, picked the right path, just like last season. So you guys want to have success, make sure you follow along, and obviously we're going to be posting each and every single day. Um, so to start off, it's an interesting... Interesting choices we have to make. Now, there's a lot of stuff that we can get that's kind of like win now tech is what I'll call it, okay? So stuff that's good now is not always the best option because then that's gonna slow you down to the stuff that's better. Like for example, what's gonna be better? Tanks or um, heavy choppers and bombers? You know, so stuff like that. Now, the problem is we have to be able to, um, we have to be able to uh, win or at least be able to compete for right now so the path that we've gone and I don't necessarily recommend this to absolutely everybody and I'll go over that in a second so the path that we've gone is just simply straight up um, skipping this multi note we can come back and get that at the end of the season um, but we want to just move ahead we want to keep moving forward so I took the hot pot um, any of the prototypes here are good the microwave is good the simo is good um, I like the hot pot because it's um, a little bit more annoying for warriors and it can pull them off path sometimes too. Um, so yeah, and then we went straight to three engines, get out of two ER as quickly as you can. Um, and yeah, there's some good stuff down here, namely the DVD and the Sky Shield. I did actually go against one guy in rank 12 that had a grappler, which was kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, so I think the, like, again, Grenadiers, yes, they're going to be be able to to let you clear the base and stuff. But um, yeah, I don't know. And this is kind of expensive for only a 20% boost. Uh, Rifemen, we don't really need them right now. And that's a kind of a crappy multi-node. And we want to get to 4 ER as quickly as we can because that's going to be a lot better than 3 ER. Um, so yeah, this is the path we've got. Now, what I will say is if you are going to take this path, make sure that you can at the very least get troop health because I couldn't get the troop health at first and what happened was I lost every single match. Every single match I lost because I could not get an engine room uh, with warriors without the troop health. Once you get to the troop health, that all changes and we'll show you some attacks in a second. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is probably what most of the comments are going to be is chicken. When I go into a match and I hit the switch troop button, my game crashes. It's like that for everybody right now. I don't know if there is a... I, I can't say if there's... Uh, holy, get it together, chicken. Um, Supercell is aware and they're working on it, is basically all I know so far. So I assume there'll be a fix out at some point today. So, yeah. Um, so this is what we're doing. This is what we've been working with uh, for the warrior attacks with no flares. They aren't super easy, but this base is one of the least defended bases that I've seen so far, so this attack is fairly straightforward. Um, yeah, I mean, all we're doing is just medkits and ice shield. Ice shield seems to be the ability, um, if you're going to run warriors just completely naked with nothing else. Um, second wind is not as strong because they just it doesn't give them any added protection, so... You know, if they're out there fizzling, they're just going to, you know, the new ones that you bring in, they're just going to fizzle too. So I was initially running second win, but it uh, it just wasn't helping. So um, switch to ice shield, that made a difference. And then adding the troop health on top of that, um, which this guy actually had, that made a huge difference. That made a huge difference. So, um, yeah, that's what we're doing right out of the gate. Now, a lot of players are using tanks, right? So the thing is with tanks is, yes, they're going to allow you to clear but they're going to be incredibly slow, right? That's always the... Floki, what do you got? You be careful. Sorry, the dog's underneath me. Um, so that's the trade-off, right? This guy's got troop damage and only 10% troop health. 
This is kind of a weird one. I don't know where to launch from here. Um, let's just go right from the bottom, kind of like that. And I'm actually going to smoke here. Because there's a lot of splash damage on the front. And I want everyone in a good position. And coming up at the same time, kind of. If we can. Okay, let's go Ice Shield. Kind of worried about the mines. Kavan's on the wrong side, of course. God forbid he goes over and helps most of the troops. He's going to focus on four of them. It's going to make things difficult for us. I just need these guys to stay alive. Everyone else is free and clear. Okay, okay. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Now, we might lose on time, but... I mean, there's nothing else we could have really have done to speed that up. So, let's see. Captain 3000. Oh, we got him. Let's go. And another cool thing about the update is if you guys are way out of the top 500 like I am right now, it'll actually show you. So we're in the top uh, almost 1,000 right now, which is pretty cool because it just lets you know how you're doing. And it's cool to see that for those of you that aren't on the, you know, the leaderboard that often. Um, you know, it's nice to see where you're stacking up. And now you get to see if you missed the top 500 by like a couple ranks, then you get to see exactly what you missed it by. And build on that for the next season. Uh, let's go. Do, do, do. I'm going to put two down here and then I'm going to put the rest over on this side. Just because I want them to turn left after they clear this stuff. I'm going to throw one medkit down there just for the two machine guns. That should be lots. I do want to try to get an ice shield for those mines if we can. That's a lot of mines. Let's go another ice shield. Might need one more. Actually, I think we're going to have to hold off on the ice shield because we're, we're going to need it coming across over here. We're going to go double up on the med kits. This is going to be tricky. I don't know if we're going to clear this one. This is a lot of damage kind of laid on in the attack. Got the hot pot down. That's good. Oh, we might finish it off. We might finish it off. Come on, Kavan. Get your healing juices going. There we go. 257. Might be a little bit slow. Might be a little bit slow. Let's see. Ah, four seconds. But you can see it is we're starting to turn things around and it is working. So, um, yeah, I think we're just going to wait until the next chest and go to four engines and then probably push a little bit further ahead from there. So I think I addressed everything. I think we talked about uh, the base is kind of meh. It's whatever. It's not super amazing. It's not super bad. Um, but yeah, so bugs, they're working on it. They know. Just make sure that as soon as you go into a match, don't touch anything. Just attack. Because um, I did do that a few times this morning because I, I just hit switch troops Not even because I was switching troops because I'm just running the same thing every time But I, I just went to make sure ice shield was selected and boom automatic loss uh, It's annoying because you will automatically lose unless the same thing happens to the other person And it's just the ultimate draw in which case I don't know um, I guess it would just be a draw but um, Yeah so let me know what you think down below in the comments, guys. As always, thanks so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if it's interesting, entertaining, or informative. Catch you in the next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back.